um, a lot of people use that to um, continue working out, um, going back to the basics. Um, you know, just also you get the time off to just recuperate and just re relax and come back and just be hungry again. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Off day for the UH football team, but their last two spring practice sessions, according to coaches, have been very good. Effective and efficient this late in the process can directly be traced back to spring break in the middle of spring drills. That break in between kind of gave everybody a refreshing week off? I think so. We're getting better these last two practices. Uh, offensive line, defensive line. Our defensive line is one of our strengths. Our offensive line, we've got to build, but they're getting better. The break uh, helped out. Warriors resume practice tomorrow morning at 7, then head to Hilo for a workout on Saturday. Fourth on the UH football team with 57 tackles last season, two sacks, two interceptions. So much is expected of Warriors senior to be safety, Richard Torres this season. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Warriors resume spring practice this morning, and Torres, a Kahuku grad, continues to impress. Richard Torres, that quarterback on defense there? He's as good as anybody in the country. I, I really believe that. You like that role? You like that responsibility? Uh, yeah, I enjoy it. Been a player since day one. Former walk-on who earned a scholarship. 2011 will be his second year as a starter. He's making all kinds of plays this spring. Gets better every year. He knows everything. He knows the breaks. He knows where they're going with the ball. He lines up our secondary. As a warrior, he's found the same success he had as a Red Raider minus two state championships in wrestling, despite being 5'8", 180 pounds. You know, what, what difference does that much make? Deep inside, it's got to feel good to everybody that said he's just 5'8", eight, can't do it at this level. Yeah, it's, it's a real great free feeling, you know. It makes me just want to go out there and, you know, celebrate and go wild. It's hard for me to do that because um, just growing up, my dad always taught me to, you know, just keep it in and just continue playing. I want to celebrate it, just not in me, but it, it feels good. It feels good. Something else he learned from dad, his head coach at Kahuku, Reggie Torres, take a knee to no one, and he hasn't. Stepped up enough, in fact, to have pro dreams before eventually following in his father's footsteps. Kind of get the feeling with his background, he's a future coach in this game? Oh, I think I think he's a future coach right now. <laughs> I hope to coach one day, but um, we'll see how the season goes. You know, I think he coaches, uh, he's like having another coach on the field. Helps me to um, not think about playing, you know, just reacting, and it just helps me relax a little bit with that. He's a leader, he's class act, he's fun to be around. And you're a workout junkie, right? Yeah, I love to work out, I love to train. I can't say enough about Richard Torres. Warriors next workouts in Hilo Saturday at Kamehameha's Big Island campus. Kickoff, 11 in the morning. Eight spring football practice rolled on this morning. Big expectations all around going into next season, particularly for the defensive secondary. And one of the reasons why, senior strong safety Richard Torres. At just 5'8", the Kahuku alum who began his career as a walk-on is now one of the guys making the calls on defense. I enjoy it, you know, um, it gets me. Allows me to, um, you know, help out others and you know put other people in position. It also helps me when I'm telling them what to do. It kind of refreshes my memory as the play goes, and it just helps me relax a little bit with that. There was nothing lax about the numbers Torres put up last season. Appearing in all 14 games and starting 13 of them, Torres had 57 tackles, a sack, two picks, and two fumble recoveries, one of which returned for a touchdown against Idaho. He's as good as anybody in the country. I, I really believe that. He's making all kinds of plays this spring, gets better every year. He knows everything. He knows the breaks. He knows where they're going with the ball. He lines up our secondary the son of a coach, don't expect to see Torres putting on too much of a display after he makes a play. Just growing up, my dad always taught me to, you know, just keep it in and just continue playing. So it's, I, I want to celebrate, it's just not in me, but it, it feels good. It feels good. <laughs> Richard's dad is Kahuku head football coach Reggie Torres, and Richard hopes to one day follow in his father's footsteps. That is, if there isn't a pro jersey suited for his 5'8 frame in his future. What difference does that much make? I expect him to be at the pro day next year with a good season and being fortunate with no injuries uh, and be at the pro day and be a factor. We'll see how the season goes and, you know, hopefully next year try out that pro day, see where it goes, and if not, then try to become a coach somewhere. Torres and the Warriors continue spring practice on Wednesday.
And there's your look at sports. A new Mighty Mouse for the UH. Right, right. right. I mean, they were Chad saying Owens. the same thing about Chad Owens. You're yep. right, just a few years back. Uh, maybe Richard Torres can be that next Cinderella story. Also on campus, the football Warriors continued spring workouts today as the team slowly comes together. The Warriors will now get a chance to do some island hopping. The team's next workout this Saturday will go down on the big island of Hawaii on the Kamehameha Schools campus in Kia'au. For head coach Rick McMackin, it's a stop his team had to make. We feel a responsibility. A lot of them can't make it over for games and, and watch it on TV, but we have a lot of fans over there. And it's been a real success at both other islands, and I know it will be in Hilo. Uh, so it, it's great for our football team to get the exposure uh, of the neighboring islands. The two-hour practice and scrimmage set for this Saturday, April 9th. That's on the campus of the Kamehameha Schools Hawaii campus. Admission is free with an autograph session to follow at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And one quick thing that volleyball... With approximately seven days till spring football concludes with the Warrior Bowl, tomorrow UH gets a change of venue, taking a neighbor island excursion to Hilo for the 12th practice of the spring. We're really excited about going to Hilo. We have players that are from Hilo, and uh, we feel a responsibility. A lot of them can't make it over for games and, and watch it on TV, but we have a lot of fans over there, and it's been a real success at both other islands, and I know it will be in Hilo. Team will be on the Kamehameha Big Island campus. Practice starts at 11 and is open to the public. The Warrior football team took spring practice to Hilo today. Marks the third time UH has taken a neighbor island trip during spring camp. Practice number 12 with just under a week till camp wraps with the Warrior Bowl. Team was greeted with the near capacity crowd on the Kamehameha Big Island campus. Practice started at 11. Fans got to see an intra-squad scrimmage followed by an autograph session from some of their favorite players, giving the Big Island fans an up-close look at the 2011 Warriors. It's a chance of a kind of a lifetime to, to see them up, up close and personal. Like I said, you get to see the speed of the game, you get to see the size of the players, you get to um, <laughs> just interact with them. And uh, what's really cool is I can come with my kids. It's tremendous. I wish we had more opportunity. My wife has never really seen a football game, and I got her to come with me because this is probably one of the rare opportunities we'll have. Just three more sessions left in spring camp. Warrior Bowl is April 15th at 7 p.m. Welcome back. UH football head coach Greg McMacken has said it from the beginning. The Warriors belong to the state, not just Oahu. So today the Warriors took their show on the road to the Big Island. Hundreds of fans showed up to watch the Warriors complete their 12th practice of spring and several Warriors made their homecoming, including running back Hogan Rosehill and offensive lineman Jordan Loeffler. Today was also Hawaii's first scrimmage this spring and coach Greg McMacken said the added enthusiasm from the crowd led to bigger plays on the field. And while most positions along the depth chart are locked up, the coaches said today's practice left them with a lot to think about. There were a lot of good plays on all three sides of the ball. Uh, you know, it's really our first real scrimmage, so the tackling was better than I thought it was going to be. But we definitely have some things we can work on. It was an opportunity that you can't really get again, and it, like my heart's still beating that I can finally come back and play in front of my family. We sat in this spot for four years watching him play football, JV, all the way up to um, high school senior, and so it's um, it's like a homecoming for him. It's really great. I think pretty much all my family came, even my friends came, so I was stoked about that family support. The Warriors are scheduled to return to practice in Manoa on Monday morning. The, they only have two more practices before ending spring football with the Warrior Bowl on Friday night. Warrior football team continued its spring practice schedule today by going inner island. UH took an early morning flight to Hilo, completing practice number 12 on the Kamehameha campus in Keaau. Total of five players on the UH roster are Big Island natives. An estimated 1,200 fans attended the workout, scrimmage, and autograph session. Team returned to Oahu this evening and will be back on campus for practice on Monday. Annual Warrior Bowl spring game set for Friday at TC Ching Field.